Thursday and uh, well good morning um, as you can see uh, we have a new schedule um, you know what let me fix the microphone yeah hey sorry about that forgot the microphone uh, hopefully sounds a little better there all right so let's get back to it so well welcome back guys um, today we got a little bit of a special episode um, last night I went to uh, downtown area um, in Merida and um, it, I, again I wish uh, <laughs> I was more prepared when I fucking turned these cameras on but anywho um, I went to like the old town part of Merida you know it's it's a, it's a historic part um, pretty much like the oldest streets and the oldest buildings and and the oldest part of all of Merida is pretty much where I went and you know pretty much where I live so it was just like a few minutes uh, bus ride to get over there a few minutes walk and bam you know here we are and so yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoy all this footage as I'm talking today but anywho you know this is just one of the many things to do here on a regular night I mean again this is just Wednesday night um, there was a bunch of other stuff going on even earlier than, than when I by the time I got there I was so busy with work and I forgot and I had to shower and get out there that by the time I got out there, it was like 9 o'clock p.m. So, yeah, like I literally started filming like around 9 o'clock p.m. tonight. And still, look at all the fun stuff and action on a Wednesday night. And so, you know, there's like events that happen here pretty much like every night. Um, and, it's, and again, like um, you would think that, you know, it's all touristy and just for the tourists and stuff like that. But again, if you can see from the crowd, yeah, you'll see a few tourists here and there. But for the most part, it's all just um, for the locals and for the people here and stuff like that. And even if there are tourists, you know, like that there are more tourists like from, from Mexico and from areas around here. So that's really, really, really cool. Hey guys, uh, it's a little hard to record with this lens. Uh, it's not my wide angle lens, as you can see. But anyways, I don't know if you can see back there. That's, uh, that's, that's the first place I came to eat when I first got here. So the first night I was here, that's the place I went to go eat. Again. Really good, really good food. By the way, so if you guys are ever in town, go there, all right? Uh, I look like a fucking retard of <laughs> uh, vlogging because uh, I don't think anyone even knows what the fuck vlogging is, or maybe it's my hair. I don't know. Anyways, all right, on with the tour. Um, yeah, so like, um, I, I was, I was kind of stuck in the touristy area and by the time I was like, you know, hungry and wanted to go get something to eat, I completely forgot that like pretty much all the, you know, cheap, um, restaurants and taco places that I usually go to um, were pretty much closed so I ended up just stumbling into um, this uh, restaurant um, which, you know you'll be sitting seeing the footage here somewhere and so this restaurant was uh, it, it, like I guess like a four or five star restaurant version of the typical Yucatan food or the typical food from here and it was really really good it was fucking stupendous again remember I'm a chef and all that good stuff so um, you know everything was great the service the food um, the presentation you and everything everything was amazing I wanted to try dessert but I was so full I couldn't but regardless it was uh, it was really fun and uh, even though I was at um at a really really high-end expensive restaurant in comparison to like all the other ones around uh, you know the one around the area and the ones I've been to I spent a total of fifteen dollars total okay 15 15 US okay and again that was way above my budget because usually I spend like around seven dollars for dinner 
all right? And I'm talking about like, I eat a lot, all right? So I eat like a, like a zillion tacos and all kinds of shit. And still, I spend like around $7. And by the way, this is tip included. I leave like 15, 20%, give or take, all depends on whatever, you know, the service, obviously. But I do give, you know, like a substantial tip just because I'm in the, in I've been in the industry and I know how it is. And out here, just like in many places around the world, uh, these individuals, they, they, everyone in the industry pretty much works off your tip, so. Well guys, I'm on my way home now. I'm stuffed. I gotta walk it off a little bit. I'm not gonna take a taxi, I'm gonna take the bus, all right? Uh, I'm gonna walk like 10 minutes or so um, and uh, get to the bus stop area. I have no idea, hopefully I can get there in time and before the bus leaves and then, yeah, that's it. Call it night. All right, guys, it's been fun. It's been a great fucking night. Um, I'll see you guys mañana. I'm probably gonna talk some crypto shit at some point. Um, let me just see how much I got on film and all that good stuff. But regardless, um, uh, if not, I'll talk some crypto tomorrow, I promise. By the way, about don't drink the water. Listen, guys. You don't fucking drink the water in the fucking US, in the USA or in other parts of the fucking world, right? You guys buy bottled water, you guys are fucking scared of fluoride, scared of all the shit that they fucking put in the fucking pipes and all that shit. So, again, <clears throat> coming to a country like here, what makes you fucking think it's any different, okay? Um, and on top of that, it, you know, the whole thing about don't drink the water, again, um, you know, not on a side note, I was talking about the fucking fresh run of food, but um, again, nobody drinks the fucking water here. Just like nobody drinks the water back home, okay? Nobody drinks the water in Flint, Michigan. Nobody drinks the water in fucking Los Angeles. Everybody's still with a fucking bottle of water, okay? For obvious reasons. And the same thing here. You know, no one really drinks the water for obvious fucking reasons. And everyone, everyone, okay? Locals, every single one, they drink filtered, clean water. They're always washing their hands. They're always fucking using sanitizer. It's, it's, it's you know, they're constantly keeping as clean as possible so when they eat, they don't get sick. So, by the way, if anyone does come to any one of these countries, and they do get stuck by Montezuma's Revenge or they get stuck by any kind of whatever. Again, there's a small percent chance that, yeah, most likely is something you're eating. And again, if it's off the street, you know, from a street vendor and it's something really like insane, like fucking chicken anus, you know, like fucking chitlins or whatever. Yeah, most likely, you know, you know you're going to get the fucking runs, okay? But 99% of the time, 95% of the time, you know, whenever the fuck you eat anything out there, as long as you wash your hands and, you know, you make sure you do everything else just like you do back home, you'll be fine. You'll be 100% fine. I think a lot of people just do get sick out here just because, again, they're out here on vacation, they're having fun, they're doing all kinds of shit. They don't wash their hands. They're not fucking, you know, paying attention. They're drinking, they're doing a bunch of other shit, and then that's when they get sick. Period. End of story, okay? Because I've been here a long ass, I mean, I've been here a few days already, and I have not shied away from drinking the water. I eat with the fucking locals. This, again, this is the first, like, real touristy, besides the first night. I, again, you know, like, I've been eating straight with the fucking locals and all kinds of shit and again it's just again if, if you're at the grocery store and you see a bunch of donuts with fucking flies on them and then you see a pastry like you know that's nice and covered go for the one that's nice and covered okay <laughs> it's just common fucking sense guys all right that's all that's all i got to say about that so anyway the fucking food was fucking phenomenal it was fucking great normally like a meal like that in the states or any other restaurant or place would cost you a lot of money. It would have probably cost me like 80 to $100 American. And I paid 15 American, okay? Like that's that's pretty crazy. That's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, because it, again, it was 300 pesos, you know, which is a substantial amount, but it's really not, okay? I mean, <clears throat> so that was that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, um, th there's a lot of really, really cool fucking things that happen out here. I was only able to go out today and just, uh, you know, enjoy some of the festivities, get some dinner and come back home. Um, I really didn't get a chance to go out during the day and visit, you know, some of the more, um, what did I say, less, like more, more Americanized areas. You know, I'm gonna see if I can do that tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then the next day or two. But I'm definitely wanna go to an area where they have Walmart and Starbucks and it's all like Americanized. And I wanna, I wanna see if I can take you there and uh, obviously, you know, bring my camera so I can show you guys and film there. Because, it, it, again, like it was easier to film today in the touristy area, but it's a lot harder to film when, you know, when I'm walking back home in my neighborhoods and shit like that. Just because, again, I'm trying to, you know, um, get a little 
gauge for the neighborhood a little more, but still, regardless, it, it just from the looks of it and stuff like that, it's 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 a rough neighborhood looking just from from the outside looks of it, and it's uh, you know just trying to be safer than sorry again. Nothing, not, not that and again, I've yet to find or see anything uh, dangerous to tell you the truth, you know, anywhere in Merida. Um, well, just that one time I went to go get something to smoke. But anyway, speaking of which, but other than that, like, I mean, you know, the, and again, even then, it wasn't even anything crazy. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see back tomorrow. I'm just going to do a regular fucking vlog. You know, let's talk about, like, uh, you know, the currency. Let's talk about the state of Mexico. Let's talk about inflation, hyperinflation. There's a million things we got to talk about. Um, yeah. Other than that, you know, I guess it was kind of like a slow day. Not really a slow day um, when it comes to, like, the crypto world. Um, but regardless, it was a fun day for me. It's been a fun day, period. Um, fun times since I've been here, and it's just been amazing, and every single day I'm learning and learning more, and it's just, you know, incredible, incredible stuff. So, all right, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, I know it's not as crypto heavy as usual, usual, but I promise uh, I'm gonna, you know, bring back the crypto and all that stuff tomorrow and the next day and after that. And again, as I film, I'll try to correlate things a little more so you can get an idea, all right? as to how things uh, all are intertwined. And again, guys, as I've been, you know, as I've been talking to you guys already before about this and I'm gonna keep talking about this, the reason I'm really showing you this place and showing you this area um, is just so you guys can get a, an idea of what's out there, all right? So that, you know, you, you guys don't feel fucking prisoners anymore in whatever st state of whatever you're in, okay? So there's always a way out, guys, okay? It really is and uh, for real, you know, I'm, I'm here in the, the land of opportunity, you know, right? Who would have fucking dunk it, huh? So, yeah, the land of opportunity is not America anymore. It's other places right now. Um, yeah, America's been squeezed dry, unfortunately. But anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I got to edit this because I got to fucking down, uh, upload this tonight. And as you know, it's like a fucking eight-hour upload. So, yeah, that's why. I know, I know. I ran out of fucking battery. The fucking camera's already telling me to shut the fuck up. Um, like a lot of you guys are telling me to, to do because I obviously, um, anyways. I love you guys, no matter what. Seriously, I appreciate it. And, um, well, yeah, I guess, you know, the, the camera's about to fucking shut off again. <laughs> Actually, I just ran out of battery. But regardless, um, again, thank you guys so much, you know, for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, anything. Let me, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for fucking being here for the fucking ride. Thanks again for the comments. Thanks again for all the love. Just thank you, thank you for the donations, you know. Um, thanks again for, the, for, for just everything. Seriously. Love you guys. You guys are amazing. Let's keep this ride going. Keep spreading the word, you know. Let's keep um, showing everybody what's really out there and um, the potential of, uh, yeah, not just this place, but other places around the world. And uh, again, if you guys are already living in a place just like I am, um, Please, you know, let's talk about it in the comments like you guys have already had before and let's continue this uh, this conversation. All right, guys. Thanks again. Please like, please subscribe, please share, and um, follow me on Discord. Get on Discord. Follow me on Instagram, on, on fucking pay, uh, Patreon, on Twitter, on all over the fucking place, guys, all right? And um, all right, guys. Thanks for making this all possible. Seriously, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't have done it without you. And I do it all for you guys. Actually, I'm, I'm, as you guys already know, I'm doing it, you know, for me as well. But really, it's for you guys, all right? And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing any of this at all. All right, guys. Thanks again. Love you, and I'll see you guys mañana. Peace out. And by the way, the upload schedule is all fucked up and weird. I'm gonna see if I can do another promo and fix the, you know, just get the whole schedule going. But again, I'm probably gonna be vlogging every day, Saturday included. We're gonna figure this out, but just uh, stay tuned and keep watching and I'm, I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere, all right? So get used to it. If you don't subscribe, I swear to God, I'm gonna figure out a way to subscribe your ass back, all right? <laughs> Let's see you guys later, bye.